Hi, this is Thorn Swift, and today we're at Manny Cushman's open house, and we're gonna check out some of these cars. So we got here a little bit early because we want to get access to all the cars before everyone else does. Yeah, he's yeah, okay. He's okay. Thank you. So some of the cars that are here right now are the McLaren P1, two Bugatti Veyrons, and a Pajani Hyra. There also is the new Bugatti Chiron. So this is the Hermes Bugatti. Only 500 Chiron have been made, but this is a custom one of one special order. If you look on the front grille, it has the Hermes logo on it. This color is chalk white. W16 powered eight liter quad turbo with 1500 horsepower. The interior is custom cashmere with the wings horse pattern on the door inserts. So the normal Bugatti Chiron costs three million dollars, but this is the one of one Bugatti. So I wonder how much this costs. So check this out. This is the Porsche 935. It's so cool. I've never seen one of these things before. It's based off the Porsche 911 GT Tour S Club Sport race car. They call it Moby Dick because of its shape. They're only making 77 of these. They cost somewhere around $780,000. This one has the Martini Racing Library. This is one of Porsche's best race cars. There's probably only two cars that are better than this. The Porsche 919 and the Porsche RSR. The body is completely carbon fiber. It has a lot of aero. The 935 is powered by a 700 horsepower motor with a seven speed PDK. It has a roll cage air jack system, and a fire suppression system. I really like that this Porsche doesn't really look anything like any other Porsche. It's really long. I really like the big wing. It's, I really like the wing on this car. And it's really big. And instead of it being flat, it's kind of curved a little. And this wing even has some vents on it. The mirrors are from the 911 RSR race car. So from back here, you can actually kind of tell that it's a GT2 RS. As the air comes across this, it creates downforce. So this is a Bugatti Veyron Cero by Mansory. It has exposed carbon fiber. I really like all the gold. It looks really cool. So what's really cool about the wing on this car is that when you push on the brakes, it actually tilts. It acts like a big parachute to slow down the car. This is the McLaren Senna. I really like the colors on it with like the neon orange mixed with the white. It's crazy how much arrows on this car. If you look really closely at this car, almost every shape is for aerodynamics. Check out how big this wing is. I like how the LED lights are just small lines. What's really cool about this is that the Senna seats, you can actually get in the 600 LT. I think this is one of my favorite Senna's. I really like how these shuts are turning out. So first of all, I'd like to thank Manny for letting me come here super early. As you can see, there's a lot of photographers and people behind the fence. So this is a McLaren P1 with fully exposed carbon fiber. So unlike the McLaren Senna, the McLaren P1 is actually a hybrid that competes with the LaFerrari and the 918. So behind me is the Pagani Hyra. I really like the color. It's kind of like a brown. I, it's hard to tell right now, but if you look closely, you can tell that the middle of the car is exposed carbon fiber. I think this is a Hermes edition. This is one of the coolest private collections I've ever seen. So this Bugatti Veyron is very similar to the Pajani. It's all brown. I really like it. So from this angle, you can really see the brown carbon fiber. I think Manny Cushman really likes the color brown 
because of the Bugatti Veyron is brown, the, the Pagani Hyra is brown, and the McLaren P1 I think actually used to be brown. Oh cool, Carrera GT. I recently just got to take rolling shots of a red one. choose between the Carrera GT and the Porsche 918, which car would you choose? I've only seen two SLR McLarens before, but to see five together, that's really crazy. There are two convertibles and three coupes. Even when these cars came out, I'm pretty sure that even a dealership didn't even have five. I'm trying to get all five of them in one shot. So what's really cool about these cars is that Mercedes built this car in partnership with McLaren F1 racing team. So this is a Draco. This is the only one of it that I've seen. It actually doesn't have door handles, which is pretty cool. So this is an all electric car over a million dollars. So there's a lot of really cool hybrid cars here, but if you had to choose one, what one would you choose? I personally would choose the McLaren P1. unveiled the new Bugatti. Let's go check it out. It's so crowded here that no one can even get a shot of the Bugatti. There's a lot of really cool cars here, but it's almost impossible to take pictures or videos. So I'm glad I had access before anyone else did. Thank you for watching my video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram.